to your republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The, the mics are not on. Oh, I see it turned off. Okay. Thank you. Ms. Bonnet, if you Mr. Terry. Here. Mr. Daly. Here. Mr. Ferguson. Here. Mr. Lee. Here. Mr. 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 And is there a motion um, approving the council meeting minutes from April 11th with the corrections of the work session um, date? So moved. Second. Mr. Terry. Yes. Mr. Udale. Yes. Ms. Ferguson. Yes. Mr. Reed. Yes. Mr. Rucker. Abstain. Mr. Sims. Yes. Um, I'm going to skip over the. Um, Booster Bash winner for mayor for a day at this moment and move into our visitor section. If you'd like to um, take this moment to address Mr. Ford, did you have anything to that you want to bring before council? No, I just I just wanted to ask why nobody from the city were told us about the, all the digging going on. Nobody in my neighborhood could even get out that first morning. They had all the streets blocked. And then they came down, they dug up probably 10 to 15 feet in two places in my yard. I, they didn't even come up and ask me about anything. They drove their whatever that track code thing, driving it through the yard. Now they did come down today, and I don't know what they I see straw put out, so they must have done something, but. But yeah, I just just wondering why nobody was ever notified because I was get I had to take get up at six in the morning and take my car uptown because I couldn't get out of the street if I didn't, and then walk back down. Now where do you live? Down off Washington Avenue. It's a uh, down by below the Presbyterian Church. What I'm finding from uh, talking with staff members and because our public work supervisor has been um, out in contact with the companies, uh, we have a couple different, we have Frontier coming through and then some other, from my Frontier contact, they said that, that other entities have pulled um, right away permits. So we are definitely um, taking down addresses and, and making sure that yeah, the I, company- I had no beef with that. I just wanted to because You're of the right. fact that I got up that morning, I couldn't go nowhere. I couldn't get out, and nobody could either mm -hmm. that lived on that on Washington Street. I just wondered why nobody was ever told they were even coming down through there. That's a good, yes. If, 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 if the, if the, we're all residents of the village as well, so like we all, you know, we understand this, right? Uh, and if the comment or the overarching comment is we could do better with communication, we 100% agree. Uh, we're working on it. We've created a committee to like start to address these issues. Uh, Mr. Sense is our chairperson. We will literally put this up. I have neighbors that ask me the same questions, right? I live on a street that has those little flags everywhere. So I totally understand it and we are addressing it. Um, it's not fun at all to find out things <clears throat> late and we're, we are trying to do better, but it's a, it's an admitted fault, right? Well, that yeah. is what I would yeah, say. I, That's I, what I would I say. I just was wondering why, yeah. you know, did you get any advance notice that this was going to happen? On that's, the street? that's what he said. That's what he said. No, that's what he's saying. He, no, he, 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 say. he didn't. No, 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 right. so no, no. I, I meant like usually we we send this out a few days ahead of time. We're not doing it. Yeah, we're, not we're, not doing doing it. we're not doing it. We're not doing it. City wouldn't do. No, that. we're not doing it. But yeah. the administrative department, the village, does sends out notices when it's going to disrupt. Mr. Reed, you know, the administration is not doing it either. It's a third party. And what we need to do is coordinate better with the third parties to make sure that they inform the residents of the village. So well, sometimes the village does do it. They send out notices. Did they at least do the work down your street? Pardon? Did they do the work down your street? Yeah. <coughs> yeah. As far as I know, they're done there now. Okay. We still got four I holes in my street. There's no work done. I will say this for them. They did come up and ask me about where my gas line come in. Because if they would have just started digging where they were going to, they would have went through the gas line. Yeah. Because whoever marked the gas lines out did not mark down 
the one street. And I wonder if, if that it's not fronting. PUCO should have already had been out to mark yeah, all of that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mark, yeah. Mark. mark. Yeah, that, some, somebody probably needs to follow up with yeah, whoever the company is doing They're going to have to remark it on They street. did go down the Bigelow Street, but Washington Avenue they did not, didn't do. So luckily we caught them before they started there. Understood. Thank you very much. Yeah, yes. that's all. Thank, thank you. Thank you. I believe your mayor is here. Oh, okay. He's up here. Great. Thank you. We're getting feedback from the sound system. I think it's looping somehow. Oh, I didn't cut it. Okay. It's a, it's I'm going to take this opportunity in a moment. Austin, if you would come, up, come forward real quick. <laughs> um, Austin Rockwell uh, signed up um, to be the Booster Bash Award recipient for the mayor for a day, and so he um, was able to do some job shadowing this morning. We took a tour of the police department and public, uh, our sewer plant and water plant and, um, and through the park, and so just wanted to present him the certificate and his um, nameplate. And thank you awesome. so much for uh, being here and um, bidding on the mayor for a day. And so if you want to have a seat. Oh, yeah, you can. Wrap uh, the gavel once. Would you like to? What? <laughs> yeah. Yes. You can, one of these chairs needs to sit up. You can uh, do a tap of the gavel if you'd like. Get you a chair okay. up oh, we got one right here. Got one right here. Oh, yeah, got one right here. Okay, so you can. You thought touring the police department was fun. Yeah. Wait, for <laughs> Wait for this and meeting. I'll put your nameplate up here, too. All right. Okay, I was just getting ready to go through my report. Um, this coming weekend, we have um, our community yard sale. We have around 50 or so um, residents signed up to participate in that. Um, and that's been just working through Safety Town and then all fielding questions from residents uh, on their utility questions. <laughs> so that's been kind of the last week for me. Miss um, Sonnet? Well, I does have, Mr. Oh. Mayor have anything to report? Oh, yeah. Do you have any? How was your experience? Do you have anything? <laughs> how was, how was your you day? Be asylum here. Uh -huh. Do you want to be the mayor after job shadowing today? Yeah, do you have a report on how the day was? Good. Good? Fun. Perfect. Fun? What was your favorite part of the tour? Mm -hmm. I don't know. This right here? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah for yeah. sure. Yeah. What, going into the car? Oh, into the police car. So, yeah. Chief, I want to thank Chief McKee for uh, chauffeuring us around oh, today. Man. He got to ride in um, his car and he, and he drove us around to the different places. Um, so, so in your tour of the police department, that was fun too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't have a mayor mobile, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have to rely on our PD for the excitement. Awesome. Yes, thank you. Uh, Ms. Vaughn? I have nothing there. Um, and Chief McKee is unable to be here this evening. Uh, village administrator, we didn't have anything. Nope, she never shared a report. Ms. London is on vacation this week. Council yeah, so we'll have our work session on May 4th. It is all about the zoning code rewrite. Um, I recommend uh, if anyone's interested to watch as much. Planning Zoning had a like, very in-depth meeting this last meeting, and they had a work session about a month ago that I attended. It's probably, it's, well, it's not, you know, most engaging thing to watch at home, but uh, if you guys could take a time to try to at least watch some of the bigger parts so that we can skip rehashing some of the things that were talked about and um, hopefully we can get a, the recommendation from planning and zoning and what they think uh, sent to us in the Dropbox maybe a few days ahead um, so we have time to review that that'd be great thank you mr terry mr lafayette i have no <clears throat> thank you bza uh, we did have a meeting this past uh, on the 13th. Uh, we passed rules and regulations for the boat from BZA, which they've been working on for a while. And we had um, one um, uh, thing we had to vote on, and it all went well. Thank you. Um, we had our planning and zoning meeting on um, April 20th, like Mr. Terry said. And this was our continuation of the work session from the March 9th meeting. And we did take a um, a strong look at different uh, neighborhoods and 
looked at um, ways that they would at the at the um, residential subdivision regulations. So what we kind of landed on was a tiered, like 8,000 square foot minimum or lot size of a single family residential um, and double, um, I'm trying to remember the exact terms, but we, I will put that report in. Did you guys go with like a little higher base and then incentives to make them smaller or did you start with a lower base and have incentives as they get bigger? We kind of had the higher base, but okay. yet like there's some different things that we're still kind of working on. Like how do you provide more amenities in the code? Like connectivity was um, one of the things that we wanted to make sure that it was spelled out for the neighborhoods. Ms. Burrell said that yes, it is in the code, um, but we need to address some of those, like maybe have a different supplemental um, paper that would go with, or pro pamphlet that would go with the code. So it's not written in the code, but if we want in certain um, housing criteria we can put it in that that would be more readily updated versus yeah and it's probably it. it's probably not a fair question without miss bro or miss lupton here mm -hmm. but we should like i would assume that the work session will literally just be that and mm -hmm. we would vote on subsequently at the following meetings um so i'm guessing that gives miss bro adequate time to like write something up and mm -hmm. provide it to us so we have you know, we'll information gathering on the Wednesday and then votes on the subsequent actual meeting. So, yeah, sounds the, good. The draft that we received, because they had made from the previous uh, meeting, they had made some changes. <clears throat> and as far as the density, and the, and, or I shouldn't say density, but the square footage, minimum square footage of lots, um, they were basically allowing for and what they had built in was basically sort of conservation principle. Mm -hmm. So if you had a 50%, and this was just a proposal, again, none of this is set in stone at this point, but there's a 50%, if you had 50% conservation area, um, meaning undisturbed, not like you level it and then plant some trees, meaning that you don't touch it and leave the conservation, um, then you can get a 50% reduction in the density. So you get 4,000 square foot lots or whatever. Um, and again, it was just a proposal at that point, and I think the discussion then kind of went to all the, you know, if you do that, and I, I kind of brought it up, it's one of the things is like you do an either or, you don't maybe don't want to pigeonhole yourself into either eight foot up square foot, eight thousand square feet or four thousand square feet, and maybe mm -hmm. consider something in between. And I think there's still some discussion on, you know, like density credits. Mm -hmm. You know, if there are particular particular area of uh, merits that you know connectivity things or uh, style homes and different varieties so of product. So for clarification, they didn't, plan zoning didn't actually pass a recommendation. No. no, not yet. Not yet. And do they plan on passing a recommendation or have they not decided if they're just going to have it sent to council like without mm -hmm. a recommendation? Have they thought through that part yet? Well, this is one of the things that kind of came up because I had a question and I couldn't remember to be honest and I yeah. should have looked at it in the organized meeting I forgot to. How this originated? Because under our planning code, Way the zoning code amendments can come through is either through a recommendation from the planning and zoning commission or council can initiate it on its own. And I seem to recall because we created a work group to do this that it was council that initiated this. So a recommendation would not procedurally be required from planning and zoning. Now, that doesn't mean that you they guys can't. can't take consider it, take so, account, but it wouldn't be the standard procedure where. It becomes relevant when it comes to voting. That's exactly what I'm thinking of. Yeah, so because it's an ordinance change, right, I see it as something that the council should be voting on it through a simple majority vote as opposed to like a super majority that goes through with the recommendations that's originated from us. So however we get to that point, I think that's how it should come to us where we're voting on it as a majority, not as a super majority. Right. We'll have to get, I'll have to go back, but I'm almost 100% that council is the one that initiated okay. this process in the zoning rewrite, and that's why we ended up creating a work group to do the zoning rewrite. And again, there's no problem with planning and zoning, looking at it and kind okay. of assisting, but it didn't originate with them, therefore under the zoning code, it would not require Perfect. like a two thirds. Perfect. Super majority of council to approve or, or modify, I should say not to approve, but to modify or 
So it's, it's, it's not a recommendation of plan. Right. It's so not, a, it's not an official it's, since, it's, it's a since it's an ordinance anyways, even if that did happen, we could just literally consider it again as an ordinance. Right. We can do any ordinance change right after and do a simple majority. That's what I'm saying. It'd be easier to come clean to us. Yeah. yeah. So, all right. But, Sounds good. You know, um, but planning and zoning was like, we they put a lot of work into cool. making it. They, they want to kind of hope that the recommendation. We're, we're certainly, we're certainly going to take the recommendation yeah. in high regard. I'm just trying to get it clean to us so that it doesn't, we don't get it. In a legal loophole situation where we have to like go back and forth uh, on it. That's all. And it was a council goal, so yeah, it was supposed right. to happen. Yes, in twenty twenty. That's right. So mm -hmm. you know, are you kind of delegated it to planning and zoning to look at and to the, the study group or yes. I forget what the official term. Yeah, but that's. But we looked at a very a variety of houses, like in all the different neighborhoods, to see like where lot sizes fell. Like Copperfield was in that nine thousand square foot. Uh, my neighborhood ranged anywhere from like 11 to 8, and and Darby Fields is even like a 13,000 square foot lot to a 6,000. So um, we did come up with like a, the side yard um, having like minimum 8 feet to maximum 18, I believe, where um, they could, you know, if one side was closer, they just had to have 18 total. Um, on that, so okay. I, we will. I'll, we'll, I'll work with Ms. Brill to have the recommendations sent on to council. Mr. Udaley, how do you feel about all this discussion? I know you have some concerns about lot sizes and setbacks, and yeah, that, when I see it on paper, and I, it, as the mayor said, she couldn't remember exactly. Right. It, it's although what you just said, eighteen, is better than what we're seeing in the last couple subdivisions we've had, and I think the fire department would like that at least at that point. Yeah, we'll have some good discussion on Wednesday. Let's yes. just put it that way. Um, Parks and Recreation Committee, Mr. Reed. Parks and Rec, nothing's happened. Well, nothing's happened with the committee. Lots of things happen in Parks and Rec uh, every day. Um, I'd like to point out for anybody, I don't know how you could not be familiar with this document, but if you happen to be not familiar, uh, this is the Plain City Pastime Park events schedule. It's available as a link on the uh, website and it lists the calendar for, for the year through December as, as it's known to be. Uh, right now, I'll just point out a few um, near-term things that you might want to be uh, aware of. April 30th, we have a community yard sale. I suppose, I, I, I think that's probably still on. Yeah. And that's April 30th, which is coming up in a few days. So um, that's something to be aware of for sure. Um, and the next stop really doesn't happen until the big stuff is May 28th, the pool opens. That's always a big deal. And everything seems to be getting ship shape uh, in the pool with some repainting going on and some other things. Mm -hmm. So that looks like a go. And then the next day, May 29th, is the kickoff for Music in the Park uh, with the Bluegrass and Barbecue which has the every time we've held it it's a very well attended event i think it's the word barbecue not the word bluegrass or maybe put them together and it just people cannot resist um it would be the point and of that. as far as the music in the park event um it's it, i i've never seen people in line at the vendors before but at bluegrass and barbecue we have the barbecue truck there they sold out of stuff and there was a line, pretty consistent line of 12 to 20 people in line just to get served uh, at that event. So it's it's not the largest event in Plain City, but it's a pretty well attended one. So, um, and we'll try to keep you updated on, on important stuff uh, at the park as we go forward. So thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Mr. Reed. Personnel and finance. We meet here tomorrow evening at 6.30. Tomorrow. I have the 26th. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's Tuesday. Okay. Yeah. Is it Tuesday or is it Wednesday? Because the, the website says Wednesday. Um, I and I, I had seen now. what you Did saw. Did we move it to session. a Tuesday? It has to be Tuesday because it works session is Wednesday. No, it's this week. No. Or, the, or a week from. So maybe we need to get that clarified uh, for certain because I saw the same thing you saw in writing that was going to be Tuesday. 
And I actually put that in my calendar. And then I look at the website. Now it's Wednesday. Yeah. I think we went back and forth on Tuesdays or Wednesdays. Were you at the last meeting, Mayor? Yes. I believe so. Yeah, I think it's down the 27th, 6 30. Okay. Well, we'll go with the. I mean, I have my meeting thing here, and I wrote in 426 Tuesday at 6 30. Um, so okay. we need to double. Wanna, we can change it. We can all let people know. Yeah, on the 26th. Well, exactly. I think we better get clarification after the meeting for okay. Mr. Brammer to okay. be sure. And Ms. Giamo and Ms. Palmer. Yeah. Okay. So I apologize for that. That's my notes. So. No. We can send an update out of, like, if it is a different on the clarification so everybody knows. Yeah. Okay. Right. Thank you, ma'am. You're thank you. Fire board? Nothing to report this week. Design Review Board? We have no applications for this month, therefore we are not meeting. Okay. Marketing Communications. I believe May 3rd we have our first kickoff meeting and uh, there's one more information after that meeting. And then I also had an opportunity to attend the Union County uh, Chamber of Commerce meeting this past week. And so have a big report for that to be honest when I saw that I had to make a report my mind was a little bit focused on me <laughs> so this is panicking just a little bit so May 3rd at 6 30 here e probably yes okay this yeah. is to let council know uh, I appointed uh, Mr. Spence to the Union County Chamber of Commerce Board and Mr. U Daly to the Union County CIC Board there is um, a spot that was um, that we needed a representative, and so I reached out. And you're on the, Mr. Terry is on the um, comprehensive plan for Union County. So we're back with the Union County CIC as well, then? Yes, right. so again, you're the representative Madison. for the Madison County. So it's the fun part well. about being in two count counties. So we get to yeah. No, we need to, we, and we need to take advantage of that. The well, double dipping in both sides and see what's going on. There's a lot of there's a lot of history. There's a lot of history <laughs> behind a lot of that. So I'll oh, I I'll, I'll, I'll sit down with you sometime. Oh no, I, I, I got to talk to you there as well. They gave me a little right. bit of history. Okay. So, um, thank you for that update. And then um, administrator search committee. Uh, we are down to our top two candidates, and we have the um, one interview on May 11th at 5 p.m. The other one, um, with our candidate coming in from Wisconsin, um, wanted to give a couple items that were approached to me on uh, this would be this candidate's second time coming to Plain City uh, for an interview, and if we want, we have the option of Zoom. Or we had the option, or, or there's a couple different ways you can look at it. Would people be amenable to uh, helping to provide like a transportation cost, um, like drug, like mileage or something um, along those lines, uh, or helping to pay like for a hotel room overnight to break up the nine hour drive? I, I think a uh, in person is probably beneficial. Um, so I think. Maybe we say we'll pay for the hotel. That seems reasonable to me. It's a couple hundred bucks. Um, I don't know if we want to set a dollar limit or if we just want to say um, hotel mileage. I'm, I'm really open. I'm open. I think I think we're we're trying to pick the city manager, right? So this is a big decision. Right. And how much and how much money have we already spent? Yeah. So like if they if like so. if he wants to do, if he or she wants to do mileage and like a hotel like with a limit of like. I don't know, 500 bucks. Well, my guess is it's probably cheaper for the airfare because it's 58 cents a mile. Yeah. yeah. It's cheaper for an airline to get yeah. Or, I mean, I mean, there's, it's up to you if you, I, I'm, like Mr. Rucker said, it is, we are spending yeah. a lot. Of it's it's kind of, it's, I would say, because we can't really give the administrator this, because uh, obviously as the candidate, she's a candidate, I, I'm okay with you like authorizing like some sort of setup for you as the, how about you just talk to the consultant and however they want to handle it? I mean, up to you like a thousand bucks. I would rather give like, that's, and, a, that's a high amount, I think, too. I don't know. 
in situations where I was asked to travel to interview for a job, I would always expect yeah. to be reimbursed for the cost of the trip. Agreed. So I think that would be the good approach to do is just tell them we would reimburse the cost of the trip for for airline ticket, hotel, and, and meals. Well, uh, uh, lodging, lodging and transportation is, I think, sufficient. Yeah. That's fine. Anyone have any problem with providing that? No problem. No problem. It's going to be small. I'd, then, I'd like to have them in person mm -hmm. if I can. So then the second part of that question was like, would you be um, open to a weekend interview? But if we were paying for this portion, I would. The, I know our weekends. The so problem is the weekends have probably already filled mm -hmm. up. I would mm -hmm. prefer to keep it on the 16th if possible. Okay. Anyone? I, I, I agree. Okay. Weekends are pretty full. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's like a Mother's Day in there. And then, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, so what would happen then about, I'm, I mean, I'm open to all of the possible hours of 24 uh, and seven days a week, but so, so would we try to do this then in the evening well, hours? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, I would say this. Let's, let's do it this way. We're scheduled for 6.30 on Monday evening uh, on the 16th. If the individual cannot attend in person on the day, we are happy to do it by Zoom. If they are able to attend in person, we will pay for lodging and transportation. Um, yeah, I think and, the and most convenient time to do it would probably be your Friday evening since he wouldn't be, he wouldn't no, miss the no. day of work. No, Friday, Fridays you know, are not convenient. Uh, because the next day would be Saturday, I'm just saying. I mean, it's not a personal He's preference, obviously, the, the for council members, team. but... We're, we're in Wisconsin. Cronenweather? How close is that to Madison? I have no idea. Because round trip, round trip Madison be about $600 using the 58 cent yeah, mile. looking to turn. So, so Air Force probably... Finance Director, okay. 772 out of Milwaukee. I'm here with the flight. I didn't get the flight. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. okay. Put it on my Delta card. Miles for it. <laughs> what do you think, man? Uh, I think that'd be amenable. Oh, I, I I'm, like sorry. I'm sorry. I'm oh. <laughs> sorry, man. That's all right. I'm sorry. Sorry. Give him a mic. Sorry. Sorry. Give him a mic. Should we have him mic down? Yeah. Sorry. Does that sound good? I don't know what we're talking about. There you go. That guy. You could run for you, council whenever. <laughs> what? It's a right. lot of wild money. You're sometimes not alone in that. Okay, I will report that back to our consultant, and um, and we will just plan for six thirty. <laughs> Are we doing six thirty? Six thirty on the eleventh yes. as well. Is it six thirty on the eleventh, or is it six? It's five o'clock on the eleventh. Five o'clock on the eleventh. Six thirty on the sixteenth. I'm guessing in there. Yes. And and how will that work? Uh, the solicitor will start a meeting, call an executive session, go interview, and come out. Is that how that will work, Mr. Solicitor? Uh, I'm sorry. So, so how will that work? Will we call a meeting, go into executive session, yes. and then come back out? Yep. Okay, perfect. Right, so we'll have to do that in twice. Yeah. Okay. Moving out of reports into old business, second reading, ordinance 8-2022, an ordinance to approve current replacement pages to the Plain City Codified Ordinances and declaring emergency. So what happened? We wouldn't have to declare emergency because it's the second reading. Yeah, I don't think we need that done. No. Well, you have 30 day tail. Oh, yeah, the, okay. the emergency just gets rid of the 30 day tail. Okay. So what happened to this? Why is it? It's every year, whenever, so every year, once a year, typically it's once a year, Walter Drain tracks all of the Ohio Revised Code changes by the General Assembly. And to the extent that it impacts our code, and to the extent that we have to comply with state code in certain areas, there's a whole section on gaming where they made significant changes to gaming laws. 
that we have to make our code consistent with theirs. So they basically insert those changes there in their package. They were highlighted yeah. sections. I've already gone back and back checked against all. Of we did the same thing software. last year. Yeah, we do it every year. So, so they do they do the editing. Yes. Okay, cool. Yeah, they do the editing. I just go through and verify that those code sections that we have match up with the Ohio Revised Code. Okay. Do we do, we do a first, first reading of this? Yes. 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 When, when well, we do the first reading. Yes. Let's. On the eleventh. Yes. The 11th. Mm -hmm. Oh, this month. I mean, yeah, and this month is like I must have been sleeping. So, she, sorry. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you. Motion to approve Ordinance 08 2022 and declaring an emergency. Second. Mr. Terry. Yes. Mr. Daly. Yes. Mr. Ferguson. Yes. Mr. Reed. Yes. Mr. Yes. Mr. Yes. Mr. Yes. Moving into new business, first reading resolution. Um, Madam Mayor, uh, before we do this, I just want to get a comment in here because I have a question. Uh, I wrote down three things that um, are problematical as far as this resolution is concerned. Um, the motion the first that we just two, passed? Uh, just wait a minute. The motion that we just passed? Yeah. No, not this, not okay. that, but this one okay. before okay. we read this right. resolution. Mm -hmm. um, it occurs to me that this, all of the stuff on the list in the letter have to do with administrator duties and responsibilities. And I'm not sure we want to preempt his ability to 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 weigh in on this let's just put it as lightly as i can that he would um he may not like this company want to do business with this company he might uh want to do business with this company we don't who is know he? Yeah, who he is might he? want to go who is he? he or she the new administrator oh, okay. we're about to select because okay. these all are all things that he will have to somebody. work with these are all things he would have to work with uh, when he comes on board, if we go ahead and pass this contract, okay. So, I just wanted council to think about that, and uh, you know, if, if you have an opinion about that, if you want to reserve this decision for the new administrator, if you just want to go and and set it up for him um, in advance, then you know that's the other option. I will vote against it, not only for that reason. But because some other reasons I have questions about in the ordinance. So okay. that's the same Thank thing you. that they did a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. the exact yeah, we worked, same, with, these, exact we worked same with these people over multiple times and mm -hmm. we've always gotten yeah, great service here. from them. Yeah. So yeah. we're not throwing in. Uh, yeah, we're not throwing yeah. <laughs> in. So I will uh, I'll move on with the first reading resolution 10 2022, a resolution authorizing and directing the village administrator to enter into an agreement with Rocknell Financial Consulting for consulting <laughs> services. And there are no discussion items. Is there a motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Second. Hit that there gavel. Okay, there you go. Smack the gavel one more time. Oh. Say meeting oh. adjourn. Oh. Say meeting adjourn. You don't even know. There you there. go. Uh, reminder that the high school's got doing their Shrek performance this week, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday.